الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us all with ilm al-nafi, ruzkan tayyib, wa ilm al-mutakabbil. May Allah bless us all with ikhlas, with thabad al-sunnah al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us all to be grateful to him, to show gratitude to him tabarak wa ta'ala uh, by being obedient to him, having istiqamah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem, لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ Allah wa ta'ala says with Kitab al-Kareem, if you give thanks, I will give you more. So the more we show gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more reward and the more that we'll get an increase in blessings in ni'am from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and an increase in assistance. Imam Sa'di, he says in relation to this uh, verse and in his tafsir, of Surah Al-Nasr, he says, the increase occurred in the Ummah during the time of the rightly guided Khulafa Rashidin, Abu Bakr, Umar, uh, uh, Umar uh, Uthman, and Ali, radiyallahu ta'anhum ajma'in. And after them, Allah's aid kept descending to them until Islam reached a level that no other religion has ever reached. And multitudes embraced it more than any other religion. But when the Ummah defied the commandments of Allah, Allah tested them with division and their voice was no longer united. Yet this Ummah and religion will always remain or retain mercy and compassion from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the level of which cannot be comprehended or duly contemplated. So Imam Sa'di, Rahmatullah alayhi rahmatin wasi'ah, here he is mentioning that the fadl and the greatness and the superiority of the Khulafa Rashidin al-Mahdiin, who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said we should follow their sunnah, qala sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnatu khulafa al rashidin al mahdiin. It's upon you my sunnah and then the rightly guided sunnah of the khulafa al rashidin. And this is referring to uh, Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, radiyallahu ta'ala ajma'in. And in their sunnah is barakah. And their sunnah was in adherence to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the commandments of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And in this regard, we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala aided them more. They had a unification. They were unified. And they were one nation receiving the immense reward and blessings and opening up the earth to them at their hands due to their obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the more we move away from istiqamah and righteous behavior and good conduct and good speech and good interactions with others, the less we are showing true shukr ila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the shukr, these, this gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is exhibited on our limbs through obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And doing those things which he which pleases him. Sadaqa, khair, da'wal Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, whether that's sadaqa through smiling, whether that's lending a hand, whether that's lending wealth, whether that's, you know, embracing someone, uh, sharing with someone. All of these are acts of goodness and kindness and righteousness. And if it is done with the intention to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it is showing gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.